Hey yo, hey everyone, Skylink here bringing you another video review. Today what we're going to be doing Losing my mind here. Boppy Season 8, Issue Number 8, No Future For You Part 3. Don't care for the cover. The cover is not that great in my opinion. You got Faith there choking Buffy. Hint, hint. Um, however, the story does it for me. I love the story. Uh, we start things off having Gee and Faith watching surveillance of Buffy. Uh, Gee has been following Buffy, studying her, finding her weaknesses, and Faith is back, uh, dumbfounded just by the fact that she thought she was going to go on this mission to save the world, and it's actually just a mission sent by Dial save his golden girl. Which is not necessarily true, but it is kind of true. Anyways, we move forward. Giles is trying to get into the compound, but is mystically blocked. Um, he's worried for Faith, and um, it starts to reveal to you that he's legitimately worried for Faith, because he cares about Faith, and it's not necessarily about Buffy. Um, now we get to a few scenes of Faith and Gee starting to connect, and they are becoming really good friends. Uh, throughout this dialogue, it's mostly just Faith trying to convince her not to fight Buffy. Um, not necessarily to save Buffy's skin, but probably save Gee's skin, because she knows how good Buffy is, and Buffy will win in a fight. Um, and she's worried, because she's starting to become friends with this girl. But this girl sees this as, you know, you take out Buffy, you get her slaves, and then we just start our reign. So that's basically what she's thinking. And thus we flip to Buffy and Willow. Uh, Willow putting in surveillance stuff because Buffy wanted it in because, um, the army and all that shit. They have dialogue in, you know, Buffy's starting to get a little darker and darker with each day, because she's even talking about, you know, crossing the line and killing human soldiers. Um, of course she says, uh, well, honestly, I don't know. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, and, poof, she is teleported. And she is teleported to a room with that Rowan guy, or whatever his name is. Uh, she throws up. Not the first time she does it in this comic. And thus starts the fight between her and Gee. Uh, Faith watches in the background. The fight is pretty nice. Good action scenes here. Um, go back and forth. It's not really either one of them holding, like, having the advantage the whole time. Back and forth, but again, you're fighting Buffy, so in the end, Buffy is probably going to win. Especially if you just became a slayer. Um, right as Buffy is about to strike down Gee, Faith jumps at her and knocks her out the window to save Gee. Um, now, the thing about Buffy I don't like is, she can be an annoying little bitch. She always thinks she knows what's going on when it happens. So she automatically assumes Faith is evil again. And punches Faith. And Faith is trying so hard to say, No, Buffy, you don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going down. I'm trying to do something here. This is a mission. And, you know, she's like, No, you're lying. You're, you're evil. You're Faith. I can't trust you. It was only a matter of time. And then she said something to make Faith snap. And she said, Dow's never trusted you. No one did. Faith snaps and goes and proceeds to choke her. Buffy is getting choked, and eventually Faith just stops, and she says, scream, shut up, and then Buffy's teleported again, and once again, throws up. <sighs> Starting to lose my voice here. Um, and it ends on kind of a sad continuing note. Gigi is so upset that Faith betrayed her. It's kind of sad, because I like her. She's a good bad guy. You almost have to sympathize for her. Because she has been brainwashed so much. Uh, my final thoughts on this issue. It is a good issue. you got a lot of action, a lot going around. The pace is fast. Um, I love Yi as a character. She is a good bad guy character. In her own mind, she's doing the right thing. And I think that's an excellent reason for bad guys to do what they do. Um... It kind of gives them a nice good motive, other than just being bad. It also shows that Faith cares a lot about people. Um, you know, 
she cares about Gigi, and she wants to save Gigi, and she wants to do it the right way. She doesn't want her to fight Buffy and win, or fight Buffy and lose. She just wants to avoid the confrontation of all. Um, and we see influences of Twilight in there, again. Overall, the issue is very nice. Good continuation of the No Future For You comic series. So, definitely pick it up. I definitely suggest it. Um, again, with this, the, uh, with the No Future For You in comparison to The Long Way Home, things speed up and build up a lot quicker. So, yes. Action packed. Um, No Future For You Part 3, Issue Number 8. Pick it up. This is Skyline saying peace out for now.